hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word. May your word be the light upon our path. May that your light be the lamb upon our feet. We receive it with honor. We receive it with thanksgiving. We thank you. May your word strengthen us. May your word nourish our hearts. May, the, may your word dispel every trait in us that is not honorable. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the church said, Amen. I want us to read from the book of Luke chapter 1. Verse 23 to verse 25. you can project it for us. Yeah. So it was as soon as the day of his service were completed that he departed to his own town. Continue. Now, after those days, his wife, Elizabeth, conceived, and she, she ended herself for five months, saying, Thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among the people. Continue. Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the city of Garin. Okay, let's, 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 uh, let's read up to there. Amen. So, I said that we are preparing to celebrate the birth of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, last Sunday, uh, the Lord told us that he is doing a new thing in our lives. Ya kwamba anafanya jambo mpya katika maisha yetu. And that he will give us our own testimony. We will not be telling other people's stories. Ya kwamba atatupea andithi yetu wenyewe ya kuambiana. Na atatupea, amen, he will give us our he will give us a testimony to tell about what he has done in our individual lives. We will not just be telling other people's stories. Amen. But I want to say that above all the other stories that the Lord gives us to tell, the greatest and the grand of them all No matter how great a story is, no matter how great a work that God wants to work upon the earth is, God chooses a man through whom he gives us a story. Amen. And it's my prayer, niombilangu ya kwamba, Wakati Mungu anakusundia kutenda jambo jambo la kustaabisha jambo kuu katika maisha yetu ya kwamba anapotafuta mtu atakaye pitia ama atakaye kuwa kifaa katika mikono yake kulitimiza lile lengo lake Ya kwamba God will find you worthy to be considered. Amen. Ya kwamba usiwe tu mtu wa... Unachua, I've met many Christians who tell so many stories about what God is doing through the great men of God. Amen. But, kama wewe umeokoka, 
Amen. The Lord would want you. The Bible says, let the redeemed tell their story. Tell their story. Amen. So if you are redeemed of the Lord, may the Lord give you a wonderful story to tell. May the Lord give you, amen. May the Lord give you a story to tell that can impact change to people's lives. Amen. You know, nakumbuka wakati moja, wakati nilikuwa nina tumikia Mungu uh, katika kanisa la uh, Presbyterian. Na mama mmoja alikuwa amesumbuliwa sana na mtoto wake. Mtoto wa kike, a teenage. Na mnajua teenagers can make you crazy. And so akatuma yule mtoto kwangu ndio niweze kumuongeresha. Na siku kaa sana na yule mtoto atu kukaa muda mrefu sana na yeye and then after about a month i met with this lady and she was so excited and she told me you know mtumishi wa mungu kuna kitu nataka uniambie what exactly did you tell my child Nataka sana kujua ni maneno gani ulitumia uliongea na yeye aji kwa sababu I do not understand how me as a mother have been trying to talk to the child for all these years and she has never changed lakini wewe mmekaa na yeye siku mbili peke yake and my child, my daughter is a new person I cannot understand so I want to hear ni nini yeye ulimwambia ikabandilisha mawazo yake and I told the mother I I told her my story I told her my story amen she had my story and she realized if Charles has gone through this kind of a storm if Charles has faced this kind of fire and he is what he is today. Amen. I will trust in this God. May the Lord give you a story to tell this Christmas. Amen. And we have this couple. This couple in the book of Ryuk. And Ryuk, Ryuk was a mental conductor. Now Ryuk Ruk and the story of Jesus when look at the disciples tell the story of Jesus look decided to do an investigation to ensure that the stories he was hearing were not just the stories of men amen and he writes to his friend and rafikiyake ambaye anamuita Theophilus Amen And he tells him I have written to you own great Theophilus so that you may be certain that the story you have heard about the redeemer is true You may be certain You see, if you are not certain about something, you cannot be stable. Amen. If you are not sure, completely sure, that when we stand before you, we don't just stand as mere human beings, but we stand as representatives of heaven as representatives of the voice of God then you will not take the word we speak with a seriousness that you ought to take it with and that word may not be beneficial to you it will not build in you faith and conviction when storms come, they will shake you because you are not stable. So you wanted your feelers to hold to this gospel so strongly with conviction that nothing would shake him from.
from his faith. So he writes this narrative. Na kwanza anaandika kuhusu kuzaliwa kwa John the Baptist. John the Baptist was the forerunner of Jesus Christ. Amen. He was the forerunner. Now, during this time, Elonde was the king. of Judah. Lakini Elonde alikuwa kiongozi lakini alikuwa akifanyia nani kazi? The Roman Empire. Kwa sababu that time that whole area ilikuwa colonized by the Romans. They were together. And so it came a time now when God wanted to fulfill the promise of the birth of John the Baptist so that he can be the forerunner to prepare the hearts of people to receive Jesus Christ. And so God is looking for a man, for a couple that would be worthy to be a carrier of this blessing. And this is the couple he chooses. Anna Chagua, a couple that is barren, a couple that has no child and undivided in age. So Anna Chagua, couple ambao. Awa nitasa Nona Zekaria and Elizabeth And then we are doing something about this couple Ya kwamba this couple look the way they are they are, they are described here Before God, they were Elishas before God. Amen. They were walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. But, amen. Now, who is scared? But, there is a problem. Amen. Yeah, we have a couple. They are doing everything right. They are very careful as a priest. Ya kwamba wasikue watu ambao awastahili mbele za Mwenyezi Mungu. But beyond a problem. Amen. You see, sometimes you might be here and you are like this couple. In fact, they were a very prayerful couple. And they were not only prayerful, they had also influence because to Naona, Wakati Anaingia Kutoa the Bill, it does not just come alone. There is a multitude of people who follow him to the temple. And the Bible says, when Zechariah goes in the temple to do it, to sacrifice, the multitude is left outside interceding. Amen. So, he was not just a servant of God, he was a servant of God with the right people following him in his division. Prayer for church. But he had a problem. Amen. And you might be in church today. You are doing everything right. Umefanya kila kitu. Ume 
wananunua mpaka machine ya kukaccurate life ndio usikose kuleta hata shilingi moja kanisani faithful you don't miss any prayer meeting you are the first to attend amen lakini kuna kitu ndani yako kuna kaelia ndani yako kenye kamekuwa kakikuletea aibu you see when sarah realizes she is expectant what does he say what does she say she says thus the lord has dwelt with me in the days when he took he looked upon me and has taken away my reproach among the people my reproach kwa hivyo tunaona nini? Ya kwamba kwa sababu ya hali ya sala alikuwa mama ambaye alikuwa amevyakiwa amen alikuwa amezivika haibu kwa sababu alikuwa ana mtoto and I'm not a woman but I know any woman will tell you especially after they are married the greatest desire they have is to have the seed of their womb is to own that baby in their hands a billion woman no matter what you give them you can buy them whatever they will never feel satisfied until they hold the seed of their womb in their hands amen praise be to god and this is a couple who were praying for a baby and they were advanced in age and this time when zechariah goes in the temple he does not go in the temple with an expectant heart He has been chosen by Lord. You know there were many divisions kulikuwa na divisions of priests, groups of priests. So what would happen is they would cast a lot, you know, a ballot. The first ballot they would choose a division. Then from that division they would cast another lot to choose a priest. Who will go to make the sacrifice? Amen. So, Zechariah is chosen through a lot. And he goes to pray again. He is a old man. We don't know Alioa Elizabeth akiwa na miaka ngapi. Lakini probably alikuwa 20 something years or 30 something. As I am Ezekiel and he has been bringing a prayer item before God every year as a custom and we see a man of God who has not given up even after so many times of prayers without an answer amen and this day as he came to the temple as he came to the temple to sacrifice he did not know that was this was a day of his visitation he did not realize that this day was the day god was to take his disgrace away amen praise be to god unajua mimi sijui umeombea hilo jambo kwa muda mrefu mimi sijui umebeba hiyo aifu kwa muda mgani. Mimi sijui umengangana na hiyo shinda kwa muda mgani. But I know as surely as the Lord lives. Amen. One day God is going to make everything beautiful for your life. Praise be to God. Do not give up praying. I remember I had an issue that had troubled me pressed me down i prayed for this issue 
Nakumbuka sometimes kuna wakati hata nilikuwa naombea kwa kiubu yangu when I was a young man and ninafikiria Mungu asikie maombi yangu kwa sababu ile kiubu yangu is so comfortable. Ninatoka kwa nyumba usiku kisu saa 3 na usiku naenda huko kwa coffee plantation to show God how serious I am with this issue. Nakumbuka that time nilikuwa natoka sometimes natoka na muka mapema Sometimes nazikuta niko kanisani saa 9 ya usiku peke yangu. Because I really wanted a breakthrough in this situation. The first year, the second year, the third year, the fifth year, nothing doing. The more I prayed, the more the intensity of the problem. 15 years, 19 years. And I remember one day going to God and telling him now Listen God listen dear father Now if you are tired of me bringing this same issue before you every day for the last 20 years then you better give me an answer because I'm not going to stop coming with the same problem every day until you answer If you don't Jesus will come for me and fight me still bringing the same problem before you. Amen. And one day I woke up and the trouble was gone. After more than 20 years, it was gone, never to return. Amen. Praise be to God. Because I know I'm speaking to some people here. Maybe I'm speaking to a young person. You have a trouble with some can behavior. Kama kushikilia hivi. You have climbed, you have fasted, akakai kama kanaenda. Amen. But I want to tell you this. You remember when Daniel was praying? After 21 days when the angel came with an answer what did the angel tell him the very first day that you set your mind to understand your prayers were heard but there was some delay in the spiritual realm amen the very first day when you trusted in God he heard your prayer He ended it and he answered it amen and look at this couple this couple awakuluhusu whatever they did not have to hinder their service and worship before god amen they did not grumble before god they did not doubt the goodness and the love of God for their lives simply because they did not have and you know it also tells us something that having a lack of something in your life is not necessarily what some of us teach you but oh don't have a, a VH because you, your faith is little. You know? It's not necessarily like that. If there is a couple that one giant of faith, it is this couple. Because I believe there is nothing else that would drive a couple to persist in prayer for all those years if they did not fully in this God. Amen. One as if you were. And so the angel of the Lord comes and tells him, your day of visitation has come. Your prayer has been heard. First, Zechariah sees the angel and he is fearful. Something rings a bell in your mind. You see, That is 
the, the sign of the career ambayo ni inaonyesha utu wetu kando na Mungu you see the response of a sinner before God is fear amen wana si fear the, the first response of a sinner before God is not worship is not rejoicing it is fear kayoka kujikata you see probably Zachariah is afraid unajua wakati huo alikuwa wakati wa neema kama sasa that time god used to deal with you there and then hakuna kungojea so walikuwa wanaingia pale amefungiliwa kengele na kamba kamba inaachwa nje sasa wakati kengele inalia kule ndani the people outside wanajua okay our priest is still okay he is doing things okay god has not dealt with him god has not struck him dead amen so when the angel appears zechariah probably is like could i have done something wrong na ametokelezea kuniua amen you know some of us we have that attitude to kienda mbele ya Mungu. Amen. That the Lord may not bless us or has not summoned us to bless us. Amen. He has summoned us because probably there is something wrong with us. Labda kuna kitu kabaya. Ametuita ndio kakuwe corrected. Na mara we miss the blessings of God even in church. You sometimes na kujanga kwa church ni your attitude. Tumekuja kuleta dhambi zetu kwa Mungu. Adiru nazo. We've not come expecting blessings. We've not come expecting to be revived. We have come to your Mungu. We always come so that God can deal with our sins. And so sometimes even when tunapokuja kanisani and God speaks na anasema atafanya kitu katika maisha yetu our attitude ni kama ile tu ya Zakaria ama Mary how shall it be how can i be fruitful at this age amen Zakaria does not believe this story from God and he says na nahitaji a sign i need a sign okay you want a sign okay i will you you will be the sign so he becomes mom hakuna kuongea tena mpaka mtoto azaliwe praise be to god and so when he goes out he is the sign he is the sign but now he is a sign to the people outside that this man must have had an encounter with god he went in speaking he has come out different there's some difference in this person amen praise god and that is my prayer for all of us that when we get into the closet with god when we come out people may realize we are a special encounter with god that we came in with our mouth open singing a song of bitterness singing a song of defeat singing a song of shame but we go out of our world by the power and the love of god that people may see a tangible evidence that indeed we have end a visitation from god we may not tell them we may not even be able to explain what but they will see you and realize you are not the same as you get out of the year 2022 
year 2023, may the Lord do an, an extraordinary thing in your life that people will see you and say, this is not the same person I knew in the year 2022. People will come to your business and say, this is not the same business you end last year because your day of visitation has come. Hallelujah. You see, Elizabeth understood her state. Elizabeth did not, you know, she knew that her life is not what it should be. But she says what? The Lord has taken away my disgrace. The Lord has looked upon me to take away my disgrace. Amen. Isn't that not our story before we encounter Jesus? Were we not a people walking in shame before God because of our sinfulness? Amen. We were full of shame. Hata ukienda kanisani na usikia neno la Mungu na mchukaji aseme kama unataka kuokoka inua mkono wako why would you not lift up your hand because sin is shameful Utaki kuinua mkono kwa sababu kwa identifyiwa kama hujaokoka ni nini ni aibu kwa hivyo hata watu wale hawajaokoka wanajua kutaokoka ni aibu they know that's why they are afraid to say nataka kuokoka wanini ju kama sijaokoka ni aibu We felt ashamed of approaching God because we were not worthy. And the Lord came to take away our shame. Amen. And listen to what the Lord says in the book of Isaiah. He says in Isaiah 54, Sing, O barren, you who have not and a child, Break into singing and cry aloud. You who have not labored with a child, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married. Hallelujah. An amazing promise of God. I do not know. Sijuini. Maaligani katika maisha yako. Ukiangalia unaona there is some barrenness. Hakuna mazao. Umegojea miaka nenda miaka lundi. You have been singing a song of sorrow. You have been singing a song of defeat. The Lord is saying, sing all barren. You who has not been bearing children. For your children shall be more. And the children of who? Of the married woman. Now, what does that tell you? That this barren woman that the Lord is talking about is not only barren, but she is divorced. She is divorced. Why? You see in verse 6, verse 6, the Bible says, verse 6, the Bible says, uh, let's start with verse 4. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed, neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth. Hallelujah. And that is what Elizabeth is saying. Whenever I went before the Lord, all what I remembered when I saw 
to other women come to rejoice with their children. You know, to get to a baby shower. I was even ashamed of going. Amen. Because I have nothing to give. Because I've not been bearing fruit. I've not been bearing. But the Lord says, you will remember your shame no more. Whatever has been causing you shame, whatever has been exposing you to shame, the Lord is going to shelve it out of your life. Glory be to God. And this is what? Remember the reproach of your windowhood anymore. You know, in this context, this woman who is Islam has no husband. Now, she is windowed, like she is not windowed because her husband is dead. Amen. Because the Lord says, For your maker will be your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name, and your Redeemer is the only one of his life. He is called the God of the whole earth. Amen. For the Lord shall, for the Lord has called you like a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit like a youthful wife when you were refused. Amen. The Lord compares the pain of these people to a woman who loves a young man to a youthful, young, beautiful lady who is in love with a beautiful, a handsome young man but a young man, for one reason or another, a memuacha. Now, now you mama, as a chiwa tu uko kwa barabara, ameachwa siku ya alusi. Wakati, pastor anasema, will you take this lady? The man looks at the lady and says, Wait a moment. And I want to message you. Sim. And I say, Ma, Pastor, something has come up. I cannot marry this woman because I have gotten a message that she has been unfaithful. How many of you can bear that kind of shame and pain? Amen. And probably I'm speaking to somebody. Hile uchungu unapitia katika maisha yako. Hile uchungu unasikia katika maisha yako. It is like of this lady who has been disgraced publicly and she doesn't know what to do with her life. But the Lord tells this lady you will suffer no shame anymore because I am your husband. Hallelujah. The Lord God Almighty is our husband. He redeemed us with a costly price. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes, now, now, some, some foolish ladies in social media, my endowment is 20 million. Anakaka, Anaona hakuna mtu anashughulika na yeye. Anaandika 
nimeinduce ndawale yangu last year ilikuwa 20 million sasa hii ni 10 amen one of these days she is going to look for somebody to take her for free <laughs> and nobody will be available what as if you were praise be to god but for us the lord paid for us with his own life before we even knew him amen before we even understood there is a god who saves the lord and paid for us by his precious blood Glory be to God. He is the Lord of Lords. He is a faithful God. Our husband is God. He is not like our hungry husbands and our hungry wives. You know our hungry husbands? They are not like the Lord. You are walking with them. And as you walk a girl passes by better than you and he shamelessly turns to look when you are still walking with him na ukimuliza anakuambia sasa nitaweka mlango kwa macho amen anakuuliza unataka nifunge macho yangu hivi na kufuli nisione is it my fault that amepita karibu na sisi amen Our Lord will not be distracted from you because of another who looks like they are better than you because of another who is taller than you Glory be to God You are God is your husband He lacks nothing He is faithful to you He will never divorce you for another He will never replace a church for the Muslims He will never even if they pray nine times in a day even if the muslim wake up to pray at night at nine or pray nine nine times a day the lord will not replace you even if they sell all the yap and build mosques in every place even with your weaknesses the lord will not change you for another he will never put you to shame glory be to god he loved you just as you are in fact he loved you for nothing you had he loved you for nothing you had so there is nothing you can lose for him not to love you you see for us we loved you because you know You are a smooth operator. Smooth is king. No wrinkles. You know. Figure eight. Now, after giving birth to seven children, you are now figure nine. You don't even know, you don't even know whether you are triangle or a circle. Because we loved you for something you had or something you could do when you stop doing it or you lose what you had when we loved you we look for somebody else who has what you had but our lord loved us when we had nothing he loved us when we were unlovable he loved us when we were hostile to him nothing can separate you from his love he protects you like the apple of his eye he did not consider your physical figure he did not consider how you look he was only motivated by his grace and his love for you and his love for you changes not the lord is your husband you don't have to come home feeling that oh when i come home today my husband might quarrel me no he loves you just as you are and this husband of yours he is the possessor
portion of the heavens and the earth. You can trust them in for anything. He needs no salary to sort you out. Hallelujah. He needs nobody to tell him your needs. He knows your needs. He understands your language. He understands your feeling. Your earthly husband may not understand the heck what you are talking about. Your earthly husband may not understand your pain. Yes, he is very important to you. But he is not God. He may be willing, but he is not able. He may be able and not willing. But our God is willing. And he is able. Hallelujah. And it doesn't matter how long it will take. The Lord says, Rejoice, O ye. Valid. Rejoice, O ye. Who are not children. Extend your territories. Extend your tents. Because I'm going to cause you. Where there was barrenness. I'm going to speak. And revive your home. If you are barren because of a sickness. The Lord is the Lord who healeth us. If you are barren because your womb was closed and there was no way, he is a God who makes a way where there is no way. Hallelujah. And so we can trust in him. Jesus came to a people who were barren. A people who had no hope. Don't give us hope. To cause us to be fruitful. Amen. Especially in the things of God. To bear the fruits of righteousness. When I see you. I don't know. What area of your life. You came to church. And you have stayed for such. A long time. Strowering. I don't know. You, you are praying for your husband for years. The more you pray, and you have written him more, you have said this one cannot change. On a fellowship of bishops, on a Musa and get to a bishop, you have written him off. Amen. I have this deep, deep. Conviction in my heart. There is a man who has caused so much pain to a lady in this house. And the time has come for the Lord to hold his heart. For the Lord to restrain him. The Bible says the Lord restrains wickedness. The Lord is going to restrain his wickedness. You see, the Bible says at the birth of John the Baptist, people would rejoice and be glad at the sight. <laughs> now, before Elizabeth bore this child, people were repushed. What will go on a mwana? They had nothing to rejoice in her life. They had nothing good to say about her. Amen. Na kuna mtu hapa Bwana yako anakuangalia aoni kitu kizuri kwako Aoni Hata ukipika nini Ukimpikia samaki anasema hapo anataka ile Victoria Alikuwa anataka ile kinaivasha Hakuna kitu anaona Ukimpikia kuku kienyeji anasema aina mafuta ya kutosha amekuwa tu trouble maker his time has come his time has come for the loan to restrain him i don't know who he is but his time has come his time has come the 
Bible says our God is able to snatch prayer from the mouth of the terrible. It doesn't matter. Ako kwa kinwa ya saitani anakana munagani. There is no sin that is too dark to withstand the power of the brand of Jesus. Glory be to God. He will be seeing you. Ukiingia kwa ngeti. Anaanza ku rejoice that his wife is back. And you are going to give a testimony here. You are going to come with a testimony that the Lord has remembered you and taken away your disgrace. Amen. Wacha tusimame tuombe. Baba tunakushukuru tunasema asanti. Asanti Bwana kwa wema wako na fadhili zako. Thank you Lord that you are our husband. And you will not exchange us for any other. And dear Father, we thank you for your word. Baba tunajua ya kwamba neno lako alitaanguka chini likurudie pasipo na kutimiza malengo ambayo umelituma katika maisha yetu. Baba tunataka kunena neno lako ambalo umelituma katika nyumba ya huyo mama ambaye mume wake amekuwa ni kiziki na kizuizi na amemletea haibu na uchungu. Father we pray may you visit that house with a special visitation. May you take away the disgrace of this land in the mighty name of Jesus. May you restore a husband's love for her in the name of Jesus. May her husband Start, O oh Lord Almighty, accepting her as his own wife in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that every demon that has taken his husband captive in the spiritual realms may be rebuked in the name of Jesus. May you rebuke every spirit of evil in our families in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, where we have not been bearing much fruit, we pray, oh God, may you speak fruitfulness in our lives. May you lift us from one degree of glory to another. May you expand our boundaries, Lord. May our businesses flourish. May lightiousness break forth in our lives like a liver that does not go dry. Lord, for silver, may you give us gold. From bronze, may you give us silver. And for wood, may you give us bronze, O oh God, that we may not be buried in your house anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus, our businesses are fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Our children are fruitful. In the name of Jesus. We are fruitful at our workplace. In the name of Jesus. Father, even in the wilderness of lack, you provide abundance in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus a mighty hand clap. Amen. We thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Uh, we can be seated. Kabla tu funge ibanda yetu kwa nehema, sijui kama.